And then back in 2016, when we were trying to figure out who would be elders, Abby came to the first church business meeting and said, I'd like to be an elder. And she has been one of two of our longest-term elders ever, seven and a half years on the elder board. <laughs> so, Abby. Good morning, Paradox Church. It's such a privilege to stand up here and share what this community has meant to my family and me. I'm so proud to be a part of this church that for me has been an oasis of authenticity and hope. Alex and I first attended The Shadow when we were an engaged long distance couple visiting family in Loma Linda. We were so drawn to the intellectually stimulating sermons and because we are complete nerds, we started planning long distance dates where we watched the sermons together on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> when we moved here in 2015, we had already planned to join the community. It was a no-brainer for us to follow that community that we were drawn to when Paradox was founded. Over the last seven and a half years, one of the blessings we've experienced within this community is freedom to explore difficult questions and express doubt. It has felt so much more honest than being encouraged to pursue blind faith. We feel a profound sense of belonging each week, even when going through seasons of spiritual darkness. Paradox has been our safe place to bring our doubts, process the world's events, challenge the status quo, share in grief, and celebrate life's joys. This is a community that isn't afraid to stand up for what is right, even when it feels hard or unpopular. Mm -hmm. Serving alongside all the elders has been such a gift to me. I've learned so much from everyone's voices and the journey of growth that we've been on. I'm so proud every time we get to read any of our three statements for LGBTQ plus affirmation, women's empowerment, and anti-racism. For me personally, Paradox has been like that steadfast, non-judgmental friend standing with me through the complex journey of deconstructing your faith and then reconstructing. It's been the friend who encourages me to grow in love without asking me to silence my critical thinking. It's the place I turn when the world seems confusing and dark. I always find hope here, whether it's in the sermon, the songs, the heartfelt moments of lament, or the joyous celebrations, or simply in the warm conversations with dear friends. Paradox reminds me of the goodness that resides in humanity. And now I'm gonna try not to cry, because now this safe haven extends to our children. It's the place that we trust our kids are gonna be celebrated for who they are and whoever they grow to be. There's no toxic theology here or like sneaky indoctrination. It's always love over shame. It means so much to us now that we have built a community where our kids and everybody's kids' curiosity and participation is fully embraced. Thank you to all of you who have made Paradox Church this loving, genuine, and hopeful community. It's enriched our lives in so many ways. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited to see where this journey takes us next.